Hey everyone, welcome back to Fuzzy Logic Lectures. So far in this lecture series, we have learned about crisp and fuzzy sets, their relations and compositions. Continuing from there, in this lecture, we will learn about tolerance and equivalence relations. We will also discuss examples on these topics so that the concept is well understood. So, let's start our lecture. To understand tolerance and equivalence relations, we should first understand the properties of reflexivity, symmetry and transitivity of relations. Consider a universe X with elements X1, X2 and X3 in it. Now let us define relations between these elements using graphs. Suppose every element in universe X is related to itself only, then this can be graphically represented as loops like this. That is, the origin and endpoint of the relation are the same elements. Such a relation is called a reflexive relation. Therefore, we can say that a relation R in a crisp universe X is reflexive if ordered pair Xi Xi belongs to R. Or equivalently, we can say that membership value of ordered pair Xi Xi is equal to 1 in the relation R. Next, we have the symmetric property of relations. In this case, for every edge pointing from element xi to xj, there should be an edge pointing from xj to xi. For example, suppose there is an edge from x1 to x2, then there should be an edge from x2 to x1. Similarly, if there is an edge from x2 to x3, then there should also be an edge pointing from x3 to x2. So, we can say that a relation R is symmetric, if xi xj belongs to R, then xj xi should belong to R. Or, in other words, if the membership value of ordered pair xi xj is equal to 1, then the membership value of ordered pair xj xi should also be 1. Lastly, we have the transitivity property. Here, if there is an edge pointing from xi to xj, and another edge pointing from xj to xk, then there should also be an edge pointing from x1 to xk. Please once again note the direction of this arrow. It is from x1 to x3 and not from x3 to x1. Okay, so we can say that a relation R is transitive if xi xj belongs to R and xj xk belongs to R, then xi xk also belongs to R. Or we can say that if membership value of xi xj is equal to 1 and membership value of xj xk is equal to 1 in relation R, then the membership value of xi xk should also be 1 in the relation R. Now that we learned reflexive, symmetric and transitive properties of relations, let us define equivalence relation. An equivalence relation is a relation that satisfies the properties of reflexivity, symmetry and transitivity. We will also see an example of equivalence relation. But before that, let us see what is a crisp tolerance relation. A tolerance relation is a relation that exhibits only the properties of reflexivity and symmetry but not transitivity. You will clearly understand the difference between equivalence and tolerance relation once you see the example. Now, there is one more interesting property. Suppose a universe X has n elements in it and R is a tolerance relation in X. Then, R can be reformed into an equivalence relation by performing the composition on itself for at most n minus 1 times. The important part here is that we do not necessarily need to perform composition n minus 1 times. The tolerance relation R can become equivalence relation before that also. Let us see an example to make it more clear. Consider a universe X with 5 elements X1, X2, X3, X4 and X5 and a relation R defined on universe X. We are asked to check if R is an equivalence or tolerance relation. For that, 
first let us check for reflexive symmetric and transitive properties of relation r we know that a relation r is reflexive if the membership value of ordered pairs xi xi is equal to 1 and if you see here xi xi are the diagonal elements of this relation r that is x1 x1 x2 x2 x3 x3 x4 x4 and x5 x5 since the membership values of all diagonal elements are 1 the condition for reflexive relation is satisfied therefore r is a reflexive relation now let us check for the symmetric properties of relation r relation r is symmetric if chi r of xi xj is equal to 1 implies chi r of xj xi equal to 1 if you see xi xj and xj xi are diagonally opposite elements so if one element is 1 then we just need to check if its diagonally opposite element is also 1 let us similarly check for other values of 1 also in this case x5 x2 is 1 therefore x2 x5 should also be 1 otherwise the condition for symmetric relation is not satisfied but here for all elements 1 the diagonally opposite elements are also 1 since all other elements in this relation are zero we do not need to care about them so as this condition is satisfied in the relation matrix we can say that r is symmetric now let us check if r is transitive to prove transitivity we should check for every possible combination in this matrix however if we can find at least one violation for the definition of transitivity then we can say that relation r is not transitive here chi x1 x2 is equal to 1 and chi x2 x5 is equal to 1 then for relation r to be transitive chi x1 x5 should also be 1 but as you can see that is not the case chi x1 x5 is equal to 0 that is this is not equal to 1 so relation r is not transitive just before we learned that if a relation is reflexive and symmetric but not transitive then the relation is a tolerance relation so r is a tolerance relation now let us try to make this tolerance relation into an equivalence relation as this universe x has five elements in it its cardinality is n equal to 5. So, in at most, I will repeat again, not at least, but by performing at most four compositions of relation R, we will get an equivalence relation. So, let's start doing that. R1 is equal to R composition R, which is equal to let me copy and paste this relation composition so let us perform r composition r since composition operations are already taught in detail in lecture 5 and lecture 7 i am not showing all the steps i will simply write down the results here those who are in doubt please refer lecture 5 and lecture 7 the link to those videos are given in the descriptions below okay so this matrix is r composition r here you can see that all the diagonal elements are 1 so r1 which is equal to r composition r is reflexive next for r1 for all the ones present the diagonally opposite elements are also 1 okay since rest all elements are zero we do not need to look into them therefore r1 is also symmetric now let us check for transitivity we see that x2 x1 is 1 and x1 x5 is 1 so for r1 to be transitive x2 x5 should also be 1 and we can see that chi x2 x5 is equal to 1 here Similarly, if we take another pair x1, x5 
and x2 x5 then x1 x2 should also be 1 and that is the case here. In similar fashion you can check for the condition of transitivity for all possible cases and you will find that all those cases will hold true. So R1 is also transitive. Now that R1 satisfies the properties of reflexivity, symmetry and transitivity, we can say that R1 is an equivalence relation. Okay. So you can see that we obtained an equivalence relation R1 by reforming tolerance relation R with composition operation. Now suppose that R1 was not an equivalence relation. Then you have to perform composition again. That is R2 equal to R1 composition R. And if R2 is also not an equivalence relation, then perform composition again. That is R3 is equal to R2 composition R. Since the cardinality of universe X is 5, it is guaranteed that you will get an equivalence relation on or before R5-1 or R4 provided that R is a tolerance relation. Okay. Now, whatever we have discussed so far was for crisp relations. Let us next see the same for fuzzy relations. For fuzzy relations also, the definition of reflexivity and symmetry are the same as we defined for crisp relations. But when it comes to the definition of transitivity, there is a difference. Suppose membership value of ordered pair xi xj is lambda 1 in relation R and membership value of xj xk is lambda 2, then the membership value of xi xk should be lambda where lambda should be greater than or equal to minimum of lambda 1 and lambda 2. Only if this condition is satisfied, R is a transitive relation. You will understand this better when we see the example. Also, fuzzy equivalence relation and fuzzy tolerance relations are defined the same way as it is for crisp relations. Moreover, if we have a fuzzy tolerance relation, it can be reformed into fuzzy equivalence relation by at most n-1 composition, where n is the cardinality of the discrete fuzzy universe. Let us see an example now. Consider a universe X with 5 elements in it and let R be a relation defined on universe X. The question is to check if R is an equivalence or tolerance relation. So here you can see that all the diagonal elements are 1. Hence R is reflexive. Next to check for symmetry let us check if all the diagonally opposite elements are same or not. Here x2 x1 and x1 x2 are the same. Similarly x3 x1 and x1 x3 are the same. And also this and this are the same and so on. Similarly if you check all the diagonally opposite elements are the same. Hence R is also symmetric. Now let us check for transitivity. If you see x1 x2 is 0.8 and x2 x5 is 0.9. So for relation R to be transitive, mu R of x1 x5 should be greater than or equal to minimum of 0.8 and 0.9. But you can see that mu R of x1 x5 is 0.2 and 0.2 is not greater than or equal to 0.8. Hence, R is not transitive. Now, since R is reflexive and symmetric but not transitive, we can say that R is a tolerance relation. Let us now reform the tolerance relation to equivalence relation by performing compositions. Therefore, R1 equal to R composition R equal to this matrix. Here also checking for transitivity x1 x2 is 0.8 and x2 x4 is 0.5. Then for r1 to be transitive mu r1 of 
x1 x4 should be greater than or equal to minimum of 0.8 and 0.5 but you can see that x1 x4 is 0.2 therefore 0.2 is not greater than or equal to 0.5 hence r1 is not transitive therefore r1 is not an equivalence relation therefore let us perform composition again r2 equal to r1 composition r1 equal to 1.8 Now, if you check for transitivity of R2, you can see that R2 is transitive. You can verify this yourself. I will leave that as an exercise for you. So, since R2 is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, R2 is an equivalence relation. I hope now you understood how to reform a tolerance relation into an equivalence relation by performing composition on itself. That's all for this lecture. To summarize, we learned about reflexive, symmetric and transitive properties in the case of crisp and fuzzy relations. We also saw the definition of equivalence and tolerance relation in both the cases. In the next video, we will learn about value assignments. I hope that all the concepts taught in this lecture are clear to all of you. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask them in the comments. Either me or some other viewer will surely help you out. Also, if you found this lecture useful, please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching Topperly and have a great day.